town of Agua Fria rode a stranger one fine day. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. No one dared ask his... So this is a tumbleweed prospector. It's one of the, uh, I guess, the first production model. And uh, it's the bike I chose mainly because when I went to buy a, a mountain bike and one specifically for, for bike packing, this one uh, suited me uh, because of certain qualities it has, okay? So in the rear it has 135 millimeter spacing. In the front it has 135 millimeter spacing, all right? These are, these are spacings, hub spacings that can be found all around the world. This is probably the most common, it's been the standard for many years. I want to eventually be able to ride this in, in some really far off places that those bike shops availability of having boost space hubs may be a, a problem, okay? So I wanted to have something that had a little bit more uh, time duration as far as the markets go. I can fit plus size tires on it. These are 3.0s, so the Maxxis Chronicles. And just the width of the tire itself, it allows me to travel on loose sand uh, and just overall traction, whatever you know trail you're on or whatever gravel road you're on, you're just gonna have a little bit more traction with these wider tires. And that's pretty much the main reason which I started looking at this bike. Another thing about this bike is that it's steel, all right? It's Cromali steel, 4130, I believe. One thing, it flexes really nicely even with a rigid fork. And another thing is it has a timeless design. Uh, it, it's timeless, <laughs> I believe. Yeah. Anyway, and some of the gear that I, I have on it is I'm pretty much loaded with Ovea Negra uh, packs for the most part, except for my frame bag. This is a, a Nature Bird handmade canvas, wax canvas bag that I, I really enjoy, really like. Uh, it's a pack a bunch of stuff and as big as that frame is, is the XL model. I love running a lot of the way up front. For some reason, I just, I, I feel like I climb better with, with the weight more uh, in, in the front of the bike than versus in the, in the rear. And uh, yeah, and I, and I try to, I try to pack pretty light, but then again, I, I, I don't really, I don't starve myself by any means, so. It rides great. I mean, it's I've, I've never really noticed the difference in steel until I started riding this for about a year, and then I, I rode a friend's aluminum bike, and it was it was night and day difference. This thing, it just flexes. It was over in the moment, and the folks had gathered round. There before them lay the body of the outlaw on the ground. Oh, he might have gone on living, but he made one fatal slip When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip Big iron on his hip Big iron, big iron When he tried to match the ranger with the big iron on his hip Big iron on his hip